early this morning and I'm very tired because my body clock is just off at the moment and I've been struggling. I've been struggling to get to bed early. So I went to bed late and I'm up early this morning. However, I will say it's easier getting up early um, living here versus in, a, in the UK because like I got up early, but like literally the sun is completely out. Like it's not even anywhere near sunrise. The sun came up probably an hour ago or so. <laughs> it's very bright. So in terms of like getting up, opening the blinds, skating rhythm, all of that, I'm feeling like, okay, Yes, this is like waking me up more. Anyways, headed into um, Brisbane today. I want to have like a little foodie day out. There's a few like cafes I've been wanting to try. And then I'm going to catch up with my friend on her lunch break. Um, and I'm making sure I'm going in a bit earlier because I've got um, family coming over later for a barbecue. So like I want to make sure I'm home not too late. Um, but however, I've got myself into a bit of a pickle because I need to get something off my dad before I leave. And I texted him about it last night, but I don't think he realized that I was leaving this early because he's now gone out to work out and I don't have the thing I need. And so I've kind of just got to wait till he gets back. Um, so that's a little frustrating. So I got this Emco Beauty um, bronzing drop recently when Woolworths was doing a 50% off sale of Emco Beauty. So I'm excited to try this. I've never tried beauty drops before. I'm wondering what order I should do it in. If I should do like moisturizer first and then do this on top. Okay, so here's the finished look. I've got some comfy walking shoes on. Just this um, Tommy skirt on and then a simple black tank. Um, I think the bronzing drops did a good job. Like it's very, very subtle, but I think it looks nice. So yeah, all ready to go. I've just got my Uniqlo bag that I'm bringing with me because it can carry so much in it. And then I've also got a jacket because it's kind of a little bit chilly. Like sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. So I'd rather have it. Um, yeah, so I'm all ready to go, but my dad is still not home. So I'm just kind of have to sit around and wait for him. So before I can leave. So I would normally just drive to Brisbane, but, um, at the moment, I'm not sure if this is all of Queensland or just Southeast Queensland. Public transport is literally 50 cents per journey, like any journey you do, um, which is just insanely cheap. So literally, yeah, the train Gold Coast to Brisbane is just 50 cents. So for me, that makes way more sense to just catch the train um, rather than drive. It does, however, mean I'm like limited to the time increments of when the train goes. It goes every half an hour. So um, I've missed the one that I wanted to catch. So hopefully I can get the one in the next 30 minutes. Otherwise, then it's going to be like an hour delayed and I do want to get going. Okay, I just spoke to my dad. He's literally two minutes away. So I'll just get what I need off him and then we can get going. Okay, this is the whole look. My jacket is from Kukai and let's get going. This is a Brisbane airport train, stopping all stations. Okay, so I just got to Fortitude Valley Station. There is a cafe here that I want to go to, but oh, when I was looking on the um, map, oh, this is like taking me down a really weird exit. Um, when I was looking on the map, it came up that Brookie Bakehouse is really near here. So I thought, like everyone's heard of Rookie Bakehouse and how popular it is. So I thought I might as well walk past if the line isn't too long because I've heard it can get an hour long and I don't have an hour. But if it isn't too long, I might line up and buy a couple cookies to have later. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it is.
good. Okay, so there literally was like no line. <laughs> like I had to wait behind one person. So I'm thinking those um our line rumors that I hear of are like they happen but they're on the weekend and it's a weekday right now. So if you had the opportunity to go on a weekday, I think that's the time to go. <laughs> so the next cafe that I'm going to and yes, I'm aware that this whole vlog is basically just going to be me eating and drinking. The next place I'm going to, saw it on TikTok. I, like any, any place I find is basically from like social media of some kind. Anyways, I saw that they have like a Hailey Bieber dupe smoothie, like a dupe of the Erwan Air, Air one, Air one, um, which I had when I went to LA last year. And I love, like I know it is completely exorbitantly priced. But to me, genuinely, it was like a life-changing smoothie. It's the best smoothie I've ever had in my life. I should definitely try to remake it one day. But yeah, it was so good that literally if I went back to LA, I would forego going out for like drinks or even a fancy dinner to have that smoothie again. That is how good it is. So I hope they still have this on the menu and it wasn't a limited time thing. And I'm excited to try it. Thank you. Oh my god, she's beautiful. And it looks exactly like the Air One one. Wow, that looks so good. I can't wait to taste it. Okay, there's a very large cup, so hopefully you can't hear that too much, but let's give it a try. First of all, they said that they had run out of the protein, the protein powder that goes into this, so I'm wondering if that is affecting the taste a little bit. It does not taste exactly the same as the Hailey Bieber one, but it is very good still. To me, this tastes more coconutty. Mm. It's also just like a work of art, like look at all of that. So I'm heading back into the city now because I'm catching up with my friend um, near her work. I do have a little bit of time to spare so I thought I might kind of walk that direction and then go for a little walk around the city botanic gardens. I love the botanical gardens. I basically love any botanical garden so if the city has it I'm definitely going there so yeah I think that'll be nice to walk around there. Hello Brisbane River. walking along the boardwalk now like along the Brisbane River and it's actually right near where I did an internship this was years ago but I have such good memories of that like I literally had such a fun time met really nice people I did an internship in the pre-Christmas season which was like the best time to do it because basically I got to go to all these Christmas parties and yeah it's just a really fun time so yeah good memories This is stunning. I just love the idea of a little sanctuary inside of a city. Has anyone ever seen a fruit that looks like this? According to the sign, it is an elephant apple, which has a lot of medical properties in it. It's very cool, like I thought I'd seen all the fruits in the world, but I'm sure there's many more that I haven't, um, and this includes one of them. I 
okay I just said goodbye to my friend we just caught up over her lunch break I didn't end up eating anything because I was still pretty full from the sandwich that I had today which was only at 10 a.m. Um, so yeah just caught up with her which was really nice I've not seen her since I've been back in Australia so that was good um, but now I am craving like a matcha we were talking about it a lot so I'm like I really want to get a matcha so I'm gonna head to this place around the corner I think it's called Wuta Brewers I think I might be pronouncing that wrong but I've seen like a couple um, TikToks on this and it's meant to be good so let's give it a try so they actually have an O bagel here which is definitely the best strawberry matcha I've ever had but considering um, we also have O bagel on the Gold Coast I won't bother going here today because I'm like I can just get one whenever I want um, whilst I'm up in Brisbane I might as well try something it's only here in Brisbane than I've been expecting and I don't know whether that's just me being a little out of touch having not lived in Australia for the past two years and yeah I guess just kind of not really seeing that transition of prices slowly going up just remembering what the prices were two years ago and now and I'm like wow like yeah things have really gotten expensive in terms of this matcha I do rate it I think it is very good but I still do think O Bagel Strawberry Matcha is the best one I've had. Every time I come into Brisbane, I have to go to this bookstore. It is like my favorite bookstore. I like the sound of this book. The last time I was in this store, I kind of had a little like mini jump because I kind of felt like there was someone like standing over me behind me. So I kind of was like, ooh. And then as I, t I turned around, I saw that it was actually a life-size Dave Grohl like cutout. Um, so yeah, that was a cutout standing behind me, not an actual person. Ollivander's Maker Fine Mons Spin the Wheel to see which character's wand you get. Let's give it a go. What did I got? Harry Potter. No way. I didn't get a book because I'm actually actively trying to declutter at the moment, so I don't don't really want to like buy too much. So yeah, didn't buy anything, but I'm definitely going to look at the local library um, if they have any of those books that I liked um, which is also good money wise look how nice this stuff is from Kmart these clothes like what a little sleigh this is so cute actually did I say Kmart I mean Target this is Target this stuff is so nice I'm not gonna try any of the clothes on now just because I can't be bothered. So I'll just go to Target, um, I like Pack Fair, and try some stuff on there when I have energy. But again, also not trying to buy too many clothes, so we'll see. Um, I've just come into Target because the cord for my portable charger has stopped working. And anyone who knows me knows I will not be caught dead without a portable charger. Like, I'm such a stress head. Um, so. Yeah, I'm here trying to find another cord. It's really annoying because I know I have cords at home that work fine. For some reason, this one's just randomly stopped working. It worked perfectly fine up until now. So yeah, now I have to try to find a replacement. So last stop of the day before I head back to the coast, I'm just walking over to South Bank because um, I just want to go check out the State Library. 
and see what that's like and then yeah I'll hop on the train. I'm definitely going back there like bringing my laptop and having a little study session because those views where the desks were looking over the river were insane like literally I reckon some of the best views in Brisbane so yeah definitely coming back. <laughs> 